Once upon a time there was a king whose name was Heron. He ruled over a country called Syracuse. One day I want, I want to place, place a gold wreath on the statue of the god. I ordered the goldsmith to make the most beautiful wreath in the world. And so a gold wreath was made by the goldsmith. But King Heron heard some rumors which made him suspect that the goldsmith might have replaced some of the gold given to him by an equal weight of silver. So King Heron summoned Archimedes, who was a brilliant scientist in his kingdom. I am at your service, Your Majesty. Archimedes, I suspect the goldsmith has betrayed me. He has tampered the gold I had given him to make the wreath. I want you to determine whether the wreath is pure gold. The wreath is a holy object which I wanted to offer the god, so I don't want to disturb the wreath in any way. So, you want me to perform a non-destructive testing? Exactly. This was a challenge for Archimedes. He kept thinking about a solution, but could not think of any. He was so engrossed in finding a solution that he forgot to do any of his personal chores, including eating or bathing. Soon, this news reached King Heron. He was worried that Archimedes would fall sick. Soldier, I order you to take care of Archimedes. When the soldier's requests fell on deaf ears, he forcefully took Archimedes for a bath. And then the miraculous discovery happened. Eureka! Eureka! I have found it! Archimedes was so excited that he ran across the streets without his clothes. Now, let's take a look at the discovery. When Archimedes stepped into the bath, water overflowed. This encouraged him to do experiments by submerging different items in the water. He found that any body completely or partially submerged in a fluid, say a gas or a liquid at rest, is acted upon by an upward force. This force is also called the buoyant force. The magnitude of buoyant force is equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by the body. The volume of the displaced fluid is equivalent to the volume of the object fully immersed in the fluid. If an object is partially immersed, then the volume of the displaced fluid is equal to the volume of only that part of the object that is submerged in the fluid. The buoyant force on a body floating in a liquid or gas is also equivalent in magnitude to the weight of the floating object and is opposite in direction. Thus, the object neither rises nor sinks. For example, a ship that is launched keeps sinking into the ocean until the weight of the water it displaces is just equal to its own weight. As the ship is loaded, it sinks deeper, displacing more water. And so, the magnitude of the buoyant force keeps continuously matching the weight of the ship and its cargo. Now, what about the king's gold wreath? Archimedes set up an experiment and demonstrated it to King Heron. He filled a vessel to the brim with water and put the silver in. He found out how much water the silver displaced. He then refilled the vessel and put the gold in. The gold displaced less water than the silver. 
He then again filled the vessel and put the wreath in and found that it displaced more water than the gold. And thus it was proven that the gold in the wreath was mixed with silver. Did you like the episode? You can carry out the interactive simulations using the link given in the description box. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more such stories. Goodbye.